Hello, YouTube family and friends. Welcome back to Photon Rookie. My name's Jim. Today we're going to look at something a little closer to Earth. Uh, we're going to take a look at the sun and the effect it had on the Earth back in May. Back in May, many of you will remember we had that huge solar storm and the northern lights were visible all the way down into Florida. Here in southwest Virginia, they were very visible and very colorful. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at some video I got of the sun with the sea star that shows the actual sunspots that caused that solar storm that gave us those beautiful northern lights. And then uh, we'll look at video from my smartphone that I took of the northern lights. I've got pictures and video. So let's take a look at it. I think you'll find it very beautiful. Here's a video I took of the sun on May 10th of this year. You can clearly see the large grouping of sunspots on the bottom half of the sun. And that's where the solar storm energy emanated and traveled 93 million miles toward Earth. Let's move in a little closer and have a closer look at those sunspots. That grouping of sunspots is so large that you could fit 16 Earths inside of it. Every 11 years the sun goes through a cycle where it produces sunspots and we're in the middle of that cycle now. We just happen to be lucky enough for these sunspots to be pointed directly at Earth so that we got those northern lights here in Virginia the next day. Let's go in even closer. It looks to me like the sunspots are forming the figure of a cat sitting on its butt looking down at a mouse crawling across the floor. But that's just me. I have uh, quite an imagination for this sort of thing. The next day on May 11th, I took my smartphone and went to the local reservoir where I had a good dark northern sky and using my smartphone I got these images of the aurora. Uh, this was definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I've never in my lifetime seen the aurora this prevalent or this colorful. It was uh, really a sight to behold. Uh, the lights were dancing in the sky and it was just a deep pinkish red with purples, yellows, and blues. It was absolutely amazing. In this photograph, you can see the Big Dipper in the center of the screen there over the lake. Coming up is a video with five hours worth of time compressed into one minute. I hope you enjoy it. I decided to go ahead and throw in a bonus video. Back in early April we had a solar eclipse travel across the eastern part of the United States. We didn't make totality here in Virginia, but here's a video I took in my driveway of the moon in front of the sun. This was about the closest it got to covering up the sun. I uh, was disappointed that we didn't get totality here in Virginia, but it was still amazing to watch.
Okay, hope you all enjoyed uh, looking at that. If you have any suggestions for any objects you'd like for me to try to photograph with the phone or with the telescope that's uh, astronomy related, just let me know and I'll try to get it for you. If you have any suggestions for the channel um, or any comments, just put them down in the comments section. If you have any questions, I'll answer every one of them. Anyway, that's it for this video. We'll see you on the next one.